Okay, guys, the duck ponds are great for ducks and other waterfowl, but they're also good for lots of other things, too. Snakes, salamanders, and things like that. But this time of year, one of my favorite things to trap is crayfish. And so I have one of these commercial crayfish traps, and this is what they use in Louisiana and other places to catch crayfish. And you see, I got a, a, <laughs> a good selection in here. I baited this with mullet, and so fish is a really, really good bait. But you see how this works? There are openings here. And the crayfish go in to get the bait and go through this opening and crawl inside. And then this sits so that part of it's above the water. And the, they can come up to the top, but they can't climb on this smooth surface. So we've got a good group here, including, man, look at this thing. This is a bruiser. Boy, that is a big crayfish. This one's missing a claw, which sometimes happens. But they can regenerate that claw and grow a new one. But, God, what a hoss. And this is a, looks like a female, a big female. And just a couple quick things about crayfish. One is they have these wonderful anten antennae, and they use these to kind of explore the world. Of course, the claw for tearing up all kinds of things. And they can pinch with that, too. And the pinch is pretty impressive. I mean, this one, pretty good. <laughs> and then, of course, walking legs. And then the ability to, like a shrimp, to take that tail and just pull it underneath the body real quickly and propel them backwards. Sometimes, with some decapods, they can actually come right out of the water. Anyway, they're detritivores, so they're going to eat really any dead fish, anything like that, uh, plant material, a lot of different things. And, of course, this is one that's delicious. A lot of people eat these. Um, so, you know, common item that people like to eat. Now, what's interesting about this is this is not a native species. This is a red swamp crayfish, and this is one that's introduced throughout the southeast. But I'll bet, looks like I may have a native species here. Yeah, this is the one that's, and it's a procambarus, so it's in the same genus, but it's very different. And of course, not nearly as big, smaller claws, different rostrum, so a couple differences. But it's good that we have crayfish. And of course, a lot of things eat these. Wood storks love them, lots of other wading birds and things, and of course, turtles love them too.